Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back here at The Real Review, and this is Malibu Slim. Now, today we have a very special guest. Her name is Sheila Simmons. Now, what I want to do is we're going to we're going to get into the interview, but I'm going to bring Sheila on right now. She just called. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Oh, good, good, good. OK, I'm good now. So I, uh, we just started the show. Let me turn my volume up a little bit here. Now. It's, it's the, the real review. We'll keep it real. Yeah. It's the real review. We we'll keep it real. It's the real review. We we'll keep it real. It's the real review. We we'll keep it real. For the black. We we'll keep it real. For the black. It's black. It's black. All right, all right. So how how are you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing I'm doing great. I'm juiced up, you know. Um your film, uh now make sure I wanna make sure I'm saying it right. Lothario's Lament, right? Lothario's Lament, yes. Right, right. That was a very interesting short. Okay. Um I have a pro yeah, you know, I have a process like, you know, every week. Um, you know, I go through a lot of films, you know, and I say, and I look through them and you know, you know how it is with movies or anything, really music and anything. The first five to 10 seconds, you know, you already know if you're going to even want to watch it. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. You know, so I was going through some like, nope, nope. Oh, I like this one. Nope. Nope. So when I saw that, the black and white, you know, that threw me off a little bit, you know, I said, what is it? Okay. What's it? Because, you know, some people, they don't know how to use black and white, you know, they just put it on anything, you know what I mean? So I said, okay, what's yeah. this about? Right. I saw, I just saw like the black and white is what, what what grabbed me, you know, and uh, the voice of that, uh, what was that actor's name? The one that was speaking, like, given the definition of a Lothario? Actually, he's not an actor. He's, his name is Joe Franklin. And here in New York, he was a New York institution. He was a talk show host. He's actually the one who formatted, the formatted, excuse me, this talk show genre. And so, you know, a lot of people give kudos to him about that. And so he knows about a lot of the history of Hollywood and everything as I used to talk about Tony Curtis and Valentino and people like that. So I've known him for a while. So I just decided to talk to him about it. Oh, okay. 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 That, that was really cool. He, his, the, the tone of his voice is what caught me, you know, the, the, the tone of the voice, you know, and I'm an editor. So I really like the cuts, the way that, you know, the, the scenes transition and you know and everything the timing and timing is everything you know you can make or break a film with that so I, wa I I watched it and you know when you you know when you watch something the first time you miss a lot because you're just like you know you're like you're all your senses are working like you're looking at the visual and you're listening to the sound you know so then my first impression though was I liked it right you know the the the, the different men that you had in there was interesting because you had, um, I don't want to give it away. I want to show the preview first, but it's just like, I, I'm excited about it because I actually, I, I think I told you this on the phone, it actually invoked, it made me feel emotional the first time I saw yeah. it. And I didn't even know why. I just saw it and, you know, and I think, and I, so I said, let me watch this again. And then when I watched it again, I said, is this a black person that made this movie? You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So when I did, I said, because, you know, my the channel is for black, you know, black filmmakers, you know what I mean? We're gonna give us some shine, right? So when I saw that, I was like really impressed because of the the content. You know, it wasn't it wasn't just like the typical content, you know. And so, you know, you know what I'm gonna do? Because I'm gonna talk about it, we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna show everybody okay. the preview and then we can go ahead okay. and uh, you know, go because I'm I'll, you know, I got a lot to say about this. So uh Okay. <laughs> this is uh <laughs> Lothario's Lemon. I'm trying to be uh trying to be cool without my glasses, but I can see it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's the preview. to me is a man who is a, uh, a ladies man, a womanizer, a Don Juan, a, a paramour, a, a lounge lizard. I mean, somebody whose main interest in life would be seducing women. The reason why my relationships don't work. Okay. 
is because I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Es porque no te creo. I don't trust any woman. I'm afraid of being hurt. Most of you don't seem to recognize that fact. I feel just as bad if I'd struck out with everyone in the bar. I cry myself to sleep at night because you've become cold and distant. is a love that sometimes arises after sensual pleasure. If it does, it is immortal. The other kind lies in mere fantasy. Giacomo Casanova Yes, 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 yes. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, okay, okay. Now, um... Okay, what what was your just what is your your whole thought into making the movie into making this? Okay, well, a few years ago there was a Chanel number no. five commercial. I think it was Brad Pitt did this commercial, and it was in black and white, and it was an interesting kind of unusual commercial. And I think the tagline was "Wherever you are, that's where you'll be," or something to that effect. Yeah. And then. Um, a friend of mine who I, I did a play with, he handed me that monologue and he said, you know, you know, if you can do something with this, let me know. And just one night in my dream, I just just thought of that monologue and I thought of the Brad Pitt commercial and I thought, you know, this would be a kind of a cool movie to do. And so the next day I got up and I Googled Lotharios and I was doing things and I saw online Andy Warhol did this film called The 13 Most Beautiful Boys. Yeah. And it featured people like Dennis Harper and people that we know, and it was in black and white. So I got the idea from that. So after seeing that, and then with the monologue, I, I you know, kind of fixed it a little bit and just, you know, um, made it more, I guess, monologue -y. And um, then I just decided about for the actors. I just thought it was just kind of cool to get different guys from different age ranges and nationalities and everything like that. And so that's how it came about. So we had 10 actors, we shot it, in the Bronx about like about a 10 hour shoot, one day shoot, and we got it done. Oh, okay. And on one day. Yes. Wow. Okay. 10 guys, one day. Yes. Wow. That, that's really good. Okay. Okay. Um, where, where did you get, because, um, I, I, I think what it was, was, uh, like the first guy, I liked him, you know, I, I'm a cynic and, you know, things, I always find the humor and things. That first guy, the one that was like sinister, like I do not trust women or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that guy. I like. I like. I couldn't identify him with him, but I just liked him because he's like a. He seemed like something's up with him. You know what I mean? Like that dude is. He's definitely, uh, you know, somebody to me. He's okay. Yeah, he's one of the Lotharios. He's he's playing women or something. You know what I mean? But I think when I saw, like, you know, you know, the black guy that had the dreads. Yes. Now, I saw the pain on his face, and I recognize that pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so, right. you know, and then, you know, even the, um, you know, I grew up in uh, West L.A., so I was around, like, white and black people. So mm -hmm. a few of those, a few of those, like that older white guy, he reminded me of uh, one of my teachers in school, you know, and it's mm -hmm. just the the pain that he had, like, he he went through life and he didn't get what he wanted, but he still went, you know, so that, that kind of, right. you know, it kind of, kind of struck me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, what, what was your favorite part about making this movie? Oh, it was just seeing their takes on it. Each and every one of them had a different take, you know, they all said the same monologue, but it was done differently each time. And right. so that was pretty good. I liked that a lot. And so, um, cause even when you said the black, the dreads, uh, uh, that's our friend Bo, he's from Sweden. And so that's mm. what he spoke in Swedish. That's what he said at the end. He said in Swedish. And um, yeah, just his take, because like you said, he grew up with white parents and just it's just, you know, his 
um, life, and we talked about this and everything, you know, being a Lothario and, and just what's it like to date, you know, outside your race or just different things like that. And so it was just interesting to hear because I did talk to the guys about their dating a little bit. And Oh, you know, you, oh so you did, about, you oh, did like an yeah. interview? Yeah. Oh, yes. There's some of the guys I did, not all of them, but some of them I did talk to them about it. And it was quite interesting. And so they were very willing to do this and they, they as actors. And then I think in some cases it was maybe a catharsis for some of them as well. So. Oh, right, right. Uh, the, the guy with the beard, you know, he was a, he seemed pretty cool. You know, um, you, you know, when I'm talking about the white guy with the beard. Um, yes. And he, and he was talking yes. in the beginning. His name, is Vance. Like, His name is Vance Clemente. Yes. Vance, He's a fine is, actor. is he an actor or something or? Yes, he is. They're all actors. Yes. Oh, okay, all okay, actors. okay. But he, he's I, Vance I, I, Clemente, and he's a good actor. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I like this person. You know, I liked his uh, his yeah. personality. But he was a. Uh, um, what do you say? He said that he um, he he can't trust women, right? Mm -hmm. You know yeah, that. Yes, yeah. And, and like, what do you know? What his story was, or do you know anything about like what his backstory or anything, or the character of Vance's. Well, yeah, well, I don't know the actual person, like why he was saying that. What was his whole? Well, well, no, those were the lines that he was saying. And just, um, you know, he just was he was able to convey those emotions. And that's right. that's what the beauty of this whole thing is. Every single guy had different emotions with the same lines. And that's what I loved about it. it yeah, oh, wow, wow, right. You know what? Because if you put me on there. I got emotions. I got, you know, I have some, you know, some back thoughts, whatever. So I think a lot of those emotions were real. Like, especially, I mean, you know, like right. the old guy, I could just see the pain. I know he'd been through a lot. You know what I mean? You know, if you were to ask me those. Steve. Yeah, Steve Carter. Mm -hmm. What's he's, his name? He's, he's, again, a wonderful actor. Steve Carter. He's oh, a okay. wonderful actor. And that's just, yeah. I mean, you know, I don't know. It, 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 it's a, it's a very it's a very well put together piece. You know, um, thank you. I really would like to see some of your other work. Um, do you oh, have yeah. uh, any other projects or anything? Oh yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I'm working on a digital series. It's called Blue Wall. This series it's a police procedural. It's a cop drama, and um, we're up on a on a streaming platform. We're on Zerb. And um, we're, oh, we're excited about season one, Zerb, X-E-R-B, Zerb. I can put oh. it up if you like. And um, we're, season one is there right now. And oh. it's just going quite well. It's like the best way to describe a mashup of the usual suspects meets the shield. That's the best way to describe it. <laughs> oh, OK, OK, it's, OK. It's, so it's a mystery. It's a thriller, not just a regular cop show. So oh, OK. It's, so it's so like uh, wh where do you film it at? In one location or? No, we studio? filmed in New York City. We filmed in the Bronx. We filmed in Jersey City, and on Queens. We filmed all around this, you know, in the New York areas. That's where we filmed. Oh, okay, okay. Are you are you doing like a like a what do you call like guerrilla filmmaking? Like where you just set up, or you have to go through the whole process of permits and this and that, or what do you, you know? Do you have Initially, it was guerrilla filmmaking, but then now, no, we go through the protocol with, you know, license and insurance and all the good <laughs> stuff like that. Right, like right, that. Yeah. right. Okay, okay. So, um, I, you know, I really would, you know, I'm an actor myself. You know, some of these are uh, mm -hmm. my films. There, <laughs> just, uh, just let that. you know. And uh, if you uh, have any other, pro like, anything that's a derivative of that, I don't know. You know, because I would love to be involved in it somehow. Oh, okay. You know, um, there. yeah, like mm -hmm. that. It, it's it's really, uh, you know, it's it's something that's near and dear to my heart. You know, it's like a, you know, just part of your process. Like, you know, you go yeah. through relationships and then you learn from them and, you know, you go through the stages like, you know, you're hurt, then you're angry, you blame the other person, then you come to grips and realize the mistakes you made or whatever, you know, and then you, you move on and then you just have that kind of like, contained in the back of your mind and when something like this happens like when i watch this movie a lot of emotion came out mm -hmm. you know so actually you know, on the set when we that? were filming on the set when we were filming one of the girls she's a young girl dude, as a pa when one of the actors was doing his scene she started crying and she was wow. really emotional she was actually i had to come she would not stop crying she was really moved by him and so that was pretty cool Wow, so, and then cool. even at screenings, we've had women crying. We've had that. We've heard a lot of people were emotional with that, and so 
Yeah, it does get to people. It does. Oh, okay. Okay, that's that's good. Um, did, didn't you say something about uh that you were circulating this film or another film somewhere or at some festivals or something? D did you say, mention Well, it, it did go to festivals and it did go to the Short Film Corner in Cannes. We already did that. But where it's going next month is the Jaipur International Film Festival. And that's in Jaipur, India. That's where it's going. Oh, okay, well, I, I I know it's going to do really well. It's going to do really well. Thank but you. The uh the one other thing I wanted to ask you is the woman, the uh mm -hmm. the woman that you had in film. What was the whole? Mm -hmm. What what was the concept behind that? Or, she you was know, a what muse. were you trying to? You know, she was the muse. She was the muse to these men. That's what she was. You, you know, a muse. She was just kind of like there to, you know. It's like whether she inspired them, whether she infuriated them, whether they loved her, whether whatever. It, it was she was different in every single one, you know. So basically, she was the muse in the film. That's what she was. Oh, okay. So inspiration she, it, it, or yeah. right, right. She represented whatever their feeling was about with the right. Uh, what, right. So okay, okay. I was yeah. I kind of I I kind of picked that up. I just wanted to know what your uh, take yeah. was on it. Okay, so um, yeah. that that's great. Um, I'm going to put. All of your information in the description of this video so that you know people want to look at your other things but is there anything that you want to let anybody know where they can find you or anything else well right now like i said blue ball the series is up and it's on zerb that'd be great if you check that out um we have lothario also it's on zerb actually it's on zerb and it's on its own pages on vhx tv and we're just so excited that this film's coming out again because we filmed it a few years ago. And the fact that it's almost like a little film that could and it still has a life. And we're very excited about that. Right, it's right, just, right. It's really great. Uh, okay, well, that's great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this uh, interview right now. And I just want to want to let everybody know about Lothario's Lament. And uh, her name is Sheila Simmons. And... Uh, You'll see her uh, next time on something coming out. And if you want to find out anything else about her, you can check in the description box. Um, but for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, it's a nice sunny day in LA. So uh, I'm mm -hmm. about to head out to Malibu and see what these women are doing. If these women are acting right. Oh. <laughs> enjoy it. It's snowing here. It's snowing. And it's like, oh, enjoy it. And thank oh. you so much for having me. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. It, 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 was a it was a pleasure it's having you on. Right. I was so excited about it. Thank you. I really All appreciate right. it. On behalf of my cast and crew, thank you. Okay, so until next time, I'll see you on The Real Review. Yes, we shall. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Right. Bye. <laughs> it's The Real Review. Keep it real. Yeah. It's The Real Review. We'll keep it real. It's The Real Review. Yeah. We'll keep it real. It's The Real Review. We'll keep it real. For the black. We'll keep it real. For the black. It's black. It's black.